So this is the condition on a 2010 Chevy Tahoe and for the age, it's actually not that bad, but it still definitely needs a deep cleaning. And I don't know why, but I didn't capture the passenger seat. So here's just two photos showing you the condition. Now, one thing this interior did have was a ton of pet hair. Hopefully you'll be able to tell in the footage and photos that I have here. Now, this was the morning detail that we had at 9 a.m. We had to finish by 12 to get to the second customer at 1.30, which I messed up anyways. So I was I limited my time filming because I could not eat up that much time in the morning because that would set us back on our scheduling. And this was the uh, basically how the how the entire interior was covered with pet hair. Since the color of the interior is kind of you know light grayish, and then the pet hair itself is also light grayish, blondish, then it's very hard to tell unless you really just look at it. Um, but there definitely was like every stroke of of pet hair that we did with our brush, we'll just get this huge clump of um, of just pet hair. And same thing with the floor mats. It's been ten or nine years, I guess, since they since they purchased these, and they've never been cleaned. As at least that's what they've told me. So it definitely needed a thorough cleaning. But for it being nine years, it wasn't that bad. Now we'll do several passes based on the stains and the condition. Now we let it dry and afterwards we're either gonna just hit it with a brush and APC or a steamer. And that's what we did on this, on this seat later on, which I didn't record, where I'm not gonna extract anymore just because it's gonna take longer to uh, dry and just longer to set back up. So we'll do a thorough pass with agitation, a thorough pass with extraction, do multiple passes where needed, Sometimes not everything's gonna come out, so then we'll come back once everything is dry and once we see the true condition and hit it again with the steamer or brush and APC or maybe even just APC and a towel to ensure we get all the, or as much of the stains as we can out. But it's not really saying I'm using the extractor, I have to get 100% of the stains out just with the extractor every single time.
not so much the video, but yeah, it, 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 it is there. Yeah, it's right now. And here is showing the dirty water. This is something new that I'm doing and it's called quick biz tip. On some videos, I'll share a useful piece of information that you can implement into your business. It'll just be like under 30 or 60 seconds. So this tip comes from my recent newsletter where I shared five tips on the things the customer needs to know. This one I'll share one of them and it's the price or your price range and how long the detail is going to take. So you should really never arrive at the customer's location or if they come to your shop without mentioning some type of price, whether it's just a price range, whether it's just an estimate, it doesn't have to be exact, but the customer has to have an idea of what you're going to charge. I've talked to potential customers on the phone that sound very excited to get the car detailed and are eager to book an appointment. Then I mention the price and they're no longer excited. That's why I never go out to inspect a car ever anymore. I tell them a price range over the phone I don't need to go and travel to them just to hear they can't afford the services in person. So let them know some price range because they might think it's going to be 30 bucks and it's actually going to be 80. Now you wasted their time and they're wasting your time. We only had to refill the extractor once. Uh, we did all. We did. There was only two rows of seats, meaning the two, uh, the two front or three front and the, and the three rear, the midsection. They didn't have the last row of seats uh, installed, so we did the seats and a bit of the carpeting. Um, and we didn't even have to refill the second time all the way, just because we only had a little bit of the carpeting left. And now we have arrived to the after results. Again, don't be mad at me for not recording as much as I usually do. We have a schedule to keep up with. So on the next detail and next video, that's where I recorded much more than here. I just got what I what I could. And as always, this is just, um, we still have to touch up a few areas here and there. I just wanna knock this portion out of the way so I remember to record it for you guys. The pet hair was absolutely easy to clean. It gave up no problem whatsoever because the type of carpeting um, that it was and the seats, it was just a breeze to remove. And this is when it's easy to, to get like 99% of the pet hair because it's just the seats fold up all the way. Even though they're in all these nooks and crannies, you can access most of them. Um, so it's a very, very easy cleanup. And now that I'm mentioning it at the end of the, of the video, it took us three hours and we charged 230 I believe and here's what I'm mentioning about hitting it again with the steamer that's why we worked on that little section because there was still a few stains so we spread APC brushed it hit it with the steamer and then mopped it up with a towel 
If you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave those in the comment section down below. And I'll see you on the next video.